All right, next game up, we've got the Wyoming Wide Loads who are trying to get back to 500. All right, Green River, defensive experts going up against the extreme rotational aces in the Wyoming wide loads. Bishop Fuller is on the mound. He's 3-1 and one with a 1-3-3 ERA. That's not bad. He's going up against our youngster who's had some up and downs this season, Rupert Guerra. 4-1, 3-2-2. So this could be a learning lesson. Wyoming does have a viewer. Jackie Daytona is on the team. We're on the road, so this should be interesting. They're wearing some whites, so we'll wear our uh, regular purples. Um, we'll give Jesse Donovan a break. And then Duffy still, I can't play, replace her while she's like that, so... I mean, you got to let a baller ball, right? All right, we're headed to the corral in Wyoming. Taking on the wide loads. Jackie Daytona's batting third and tenths, or batting eighth and tenths, playing third base. This is sponsored by Heckin' Trucks. Lethal D feline, Grease and Chan and Rip Dinger is going to lead it off. Look at this field. They did AC. We also drew USC in a bowl game. Lethal D feline will lead off here on the road in Wyoming. 351 average. Bishop Fuller, seasoned pitcher. Was that first pitch in there for a ball? One did not drop as much as that other one. And that is popped up. It was an outside pitch, but a terrible contact. And Amy Zoner makes the catch. Had to bring up Grease and Chan. 421 average. There's a base hit up the gut. Chan challenging Rip Dingers for the best batting average in the league. Speaking of, here's Rip Dingers batting 468. One point. One hundredth of a point off of greatness. Oh, he got a hold of that one, but it's going to slide foul toward the oil pumps. O2. Oh, that's hard hit. Oh, we couldn't hold it. And that's going to put two on with one out here in the top of the first. Zoner couldn't bring that down. That brings Buck Swiner up. He's batting 351. Three home runs, 16 RBIs. He has some speed in front of him. And that's going to be hit right in the gap and load the bases. Aubrielle Duffy steps in. She is locked in. She has been playing extremely well as of late. That is going to be a double play, probably. There's one. If she out hustles it, she will, and that's going to knock in a run. Let's freaking go. So one nothing here early. And that's right back to Fuller. He won't let that one go. Out number three. We head to the bottom of the first. It's already one nothing. Estella Willis, Stallion Johnson, and Peapod Sandman. I've heard of Stallion Johnson. That Peapod Sandman's uh, interesting. Willis Willis batting 248. Swings at the first pitch. Wonder if her uh, people are yelling at her for that. She swung at every pitch thus far. And she'll go down swinging on the screwball. 
So Rupert's starting off good today. He'll now face Stallion Johnson, who's batting a buck 70, one home run, six RBIs. Looks like another player who's being mishandled by a uh, computer. Nope, inside. Oh. And evidently this ump's not going to give us anything on the edge. Oh, and that's going to get through for a little trickler base hit. It's a one on, one out here. Key Pod Sandman, 271 average. Runner goes. Grizz doesn't get it in time. O2 pitch. Ooh, what a pitch by Guerra. Devin Gonsendez. Oh, this is the dude that was chasing Rip earlier in the season. 10 home runs, 29 RBIs, batting three something. He is uh he was trying to run with Rip, but he just couldn't keep up with him. Uh Roy Bacon, I just think that the computer just mishandles. This is where I think there's a fault in all sports games where they make sliders for the game instead of each team. Oh, that's going to be a base hit. Let's see. Are they going to send the runner home? They do not. I think each team or each coach manager should have their own sliders, and then you can make them go somewhere and make those teams either good or bad. I always thought NCAA football, they messed up with that. It sucked going and playing Alabama one game and then playing Tulane the next week, and they all played the same way. Woo! What a pitch! Yeah, break that bat. It's a bat's fault. We go to the second inning. It's one nothing. Guerra, he bent. He didn't break. Ball and Senoro and Guerra will come up the bat here. But yeah, the computer does just mishandle. Like, there's a viewer that's on another team, and when I had him on my practice team, I batted like 600 with him. Uh, and he's batting like one something with uh, with the computer, and I'm like, there's no way. Ooh, Tish Ballin went down. Fuller making short work of her. Here's our grizzled veteran, Grizz. Done a hell of a job backing up Jesse Donovan this season. And he's going to hit it under the pitcher and get the slowest of hits that we've seen this season. Now batting the pitcher, number 39, Rupert Guerra. That's probably a double play. Nope, Fuller just goes to first. So two outs, runner on first. And once again, poor Lethal comes up with two outs. That was a strike. Okay, whatever. There's a nice base hit. It may bring home a run. We're going to send him. Johnson doesn't get the strongest of arms. And Johnson comes up a little short. It's 2 nothing. Lethal with the RBI single there. You love to see that with two outs. And Lethal's going. Good jump. Lethal is in there for the steal. That's popped up. It drops. Nope. Walters gets to it. Zoner lift and Jackie Daytona viewer coming up here in the second. On the flip side, it's a team 35-7. They beat me. Ooh. I progressively put the stats up higher. We're like on 80 hitting and 78 pitching, and I think building and the other things maxed out now so but i know if you go if you creep up too high oh dingers uh oh lethal scoops it up out of the ground good recovery by lethal there let's go if you if you make it too much above your level it, it rips you off but you got to find that happy balance 
But I'm sure when the playoffs start and all the teams go back to zero um, mojo and stuff, that'll make it more difficult. Though Mojo has seemed to be very based on this game. Here's Jackie Daytona, 321, 7 home runs, 12 RBIs. This is a viewer player. Jackie, big swing, but Chan is there. That's out too. Say hi to Jackie and bye to Jackie. Hey, Nicholas. Trying to bring up their pitcher. I thought about putting real players in it, but I decided against it. I thought that maybe it pushed down too many of the viewer players to not get drafted. Duffy throws over. That'll bring an end to the second inning. We head to the third. Rip Dingers leads off. Buck Swiner, Aubrey L. Duffy. Good part of the lineup. We'll see what they can do. Rip Dingers have been very quiet here lately. Good strike one. Oh, that was a good pitch and I missed it. That's hit like a bullet. Johnson will field it well. That's going to be another single for Rip. Rip's either home runs or singles. Number 58, Buck Swiner. Hi, Jackie. Bye, Jackie. Buck Swiner steps up here. That could be a double play ball. Zoner to Walters. No, Buck hustles it out. Only one on that one. The shortstop, number 34, Aubriel Duffy. Duffy. Hard hit ball. Peapod Sandman is back there to catch it. The second base. Bring up Figueroa. I'll let him power hit since there's two outs. He's going to ground out the zoner. And that makes quick work of the top of the third. Wed to the bottom. Top of the order. Due up for the wide loads. Willis, Johnson, and Sandman coming up. Well, Jeff Bagwell does have that effect. See, I thought if I put real players in that, it would do what you're talking about. It would take, it would put more attention on them. There's a base hit than it would on the uh, viewer players. Oh my God, Tish, calm down out there. So Stallion Johnson steps up, one for one today. He's got a runner at first. And that's going to get through. So now all of a sudden they've got two on and the young pitcher who does what he usually does. He lets runners on. Let's see if he can close the door here. Didn't know who Jeff Bagwell was until the day. Oh, no. It's somebody who grew up watching baseball. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> when I practiced with the... Uh, the, the the real players. I got Mike Musina as my ace, and uh, yeah, he was he was the deal. That's all I'll say. Oh. Woo! What a pitch! That changeup made her angry. She big mad. Devon Gonsendez. Looking to send one over the wall here. Send the message to Rip. Oh, and he gets it right past Rip. It wouldn't let me dive. They are going to send a runner home. And it's 2-1 now. Now batting, the baseman, number 25. Oh, that's embarrassing. Hey, Wembley, what's going on? How are you doing? That's a bad changeup. That may bring in a run. They are going to challenge. They're going for the tie. Tish, not in time. It's 2-2. So the wide loads putting up a much better fight than the uh, herbivores did. That's popped up. 
Chan makes the catch. Throws it in. Stops the runners. Two outs, two on here. FA Cup draw. Glad I'm not doing that. Uh, sadness. Can Duffy get this one? Good defense. What a play. We stopped the bleeding. Two runs up there. It is a tie game. As we head to the fourth. Bottom of the lineup. Do up for the Sirens. Part of me misses uh, doing uh, soccer streams. But uh, I just I needed a break. It's take strike one. That's right back to Fuller. That's two he's got like that. One out. Now batting the catcher, number 11, Rez Signoro. Oh, is, is Wrexham coming to your all's place? Oh, yeah, Ryan Reynolds is going to be there, probably trying to sell his Mint Mobile. I'm really tired of seeing him on YouTube ads. Speaking of ads, if you don't want to watch ads, there's a subscribe button down below that you can hit for that to get rid of your ads. Also, I have a Patreon. Look at that! I'm getting so good at this, uh, this transitioning. Little ground ball, Gonsendez flips at the fuller and that's it. Jackie Daytona viewer coming up. Bishop Fuller and Estella Willis. We did not do well that uh no one thinks outside the box. That inning. Jackie Daytona batting 318, but 0 for 1 today. Big strike one. That is just flicked up. Figueroa catches it two away. Uh, if it's at night, I don't. Yeah, we would be able to watch it then, because eight o'clock your time would be like six o'clock our time, or eight o'clock your time would be like two o'clock your time. My bad, my our time. So I think you all are six hours ahead of us in England. Oh, that's a bad pitch. Ooh, Swiner. Thank the heavens. We go to the fifth inning, top of the order coming up. Lethal D, Grecian Chan, and Rip Dingers. We need Lethal to get on. She needs more steals. Number 86. Lethal making a maniac maniacal laugh there. That's a very close ball. Oh, almost hit Lethal. Two and one the count now. I have no idea why I went after that one. There's a hit to the gap. It's going to roll. Lethal going for two. Oh, God. Peapod Sandman, and he's in time, and guns are down. The right field. Holy cow. Peapod Sandman. She'll get the base hit, but she was out going for two. That was speed versus arm there, and arm one. Unfortunately, here's Rip Dingers. He's locked in. Come on, Rip. Rocket. Base hit. Now back, the left fielder. Buck Swiner steps in one for two today. I don't know why I said it all country. Come on, Buck. That's going to get through and load the bases. Here's where it would help if we had uh, Jesse Donovan in the lineup. But it does fall to Aubrey Duffy. She's not let us down yet. She's 0 for 2 today, though. She is locked in. Okay. 
And that's going to get through. She's going to bring in one run. She's going to give us the lead back 3-2. So the bases remain loaded for Eduardo Figueroa. 0 for 2 today. Hmm, couldn't get around on that one. I thought he was going to hit him. Oh, and that's going to get through. Oh, let's send two home. We got speed. Sandman. Oh, it's Sandman. He didn't get that one. 5-2 game all of a sudden. Tish Ball and having a terrible game. We're going to bring in Damian Rush here early. The runners are going. And they throw her out at set third. Unfortunate. Three and one, Damien. Ground ball, zoner, in time. That will retire the side. The sirens, though, get three, and they go back up on top. Johnson, Sandman, and Gutsendez. Tough part of the lineup coming up, though. You love to see these back and forth games. Hey, Crusader 6-5. Oh, two here. Oh, Rip Dingers. What a play. Let's go. There's something I've been thinking for about a half of this season, and I don't want to say it out loud because I know as soon as I say it out loud, I will, I will jinx myself and the team. So I'm just not. I'm going to keep it in until the end of the season. Two pitch, contact, Chan retreats back, makes the catch, two away. I'm doing okay, to, I'm actually been in a good mood today. It was good church service, got in and out of the grocery store, early stream, I, I, I accomplished a lot this weekend out in the garage, I'm very happy. Ooh, what a pitch. We'll head to the sixth inning. 5-2 game. Turn of the order. Do up. Grid Senoro, one for two today. He had the world's slowest ground ball earlier. We'll take strike one. That's good. Pitch, but I didn't didn't get a chance to get to it. He's too old to go around for it. Big hit there, but I think that's going to be caught by the center fielder. And Peapod Sandman does indeed do that. Hey, Zenus, what's going on? Now to bring up the pitcher, Rupert. Not doing too well in the uh, batting today, but... And as soon as I say that, he gets a hit. Outfield was playing in. So that'll bring up Lethal. One on, one out. Two for three today. Already knocked in one run. And Rupert going to try. Oh, they throw it into the outfield. Rupert is going to go to third. Our pitcher just stole two bases. Oh, and Rupert gets out because it went right to Jackie Daytona. The worst thing that could have happened just happened. Unfortunate. You know what? We're going to do it again. Lethal's going. Oh, they got lethal. They pitched out. All right, we'll go to the bottom of the sixth. I uh, 
I had a great managerial moment there of stealing with the pitcher, and then I had a bad one there trying to steal with lethal. Oh, that's hard hit. Damian Rush now out here playing center. He'll make the catch with ease. One away. Here's Amy's owner. She looks excited to be high on life. Ball 0 and 2. Comes the pitch. Did not bite. Oh, Frozer! Like Elza. That's for you, AC. Puff Lift steps in here. Oh, he got it. How did he get a piece of that? That was so far, far out of the, the zone, and it was a bad pitch. We'll take it, though. We go to the seventh inning. We still lead by three. Chan, Dingers, and Swiner do up. There's a lot of our fans at this away game. That's the only thing I wish they changed about the game is wherever you went, I, wanted, I want their fans to be the majority, not ours. Reese and Chan. They'll take strike one from Fuller. Went after that one. Zoner's there. She'll make the play. One away. Here's Rip. He's three for three today. He's feeling it. He can just get the ball up in the air. You have problems getting your balls in the air. Please see a doctor. That's not going to be a base hit there. Zoner makes the play two away. Buck Swiner also two for three today. Oh, that goes right back to Fuller. That's the third one he's handled today, and he'll handle it with ease. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Jackie Daytona is going to lead it off for us. Bishop Fuller, will they keep him in? And then the top of the order. So the viewer player, Jackie Daytona, made a great defensive play earlier, but not too well on batting today. Strike one. Swing and a miss on that one. See if we can set Jackie down. Oh, he did! What a pitch! He's totally not going to be happy at me when she sees what her character did today. And that is the end of the day for Bishop Fuller. They're going to bring in Jim Qualita to pinch hit as well. Bold move. Bullpen active for the Sirens. Stump starting to get a little tired. Oh, that's a bad changeup. Oh, that's a terrible slider. We walk him. Stella Willis. Have a heart. She got a piece of it. Swiner makes the catch. Two away. Stallion Johnson. Big pitch there. Let me get him chasing. Nope, he got a piece of it. Rush, going to have to come over on this one. Rush makes the catch, trotting along. Let's go. We'll head to the eighth inning. Still a three-run lead for your Sirens. Oh, AC was talking about basketball. I thought Louisville may hold on to win that game, but they didn't. Our team is not very testicular fortified. Aubrielle Duffy comes up. She's one for three today. Oh, and that's a big hit to the gap. Peapod Sandman is a... F you know, if we could pick up Peapod in the offseason, 
I hope y'all have been keeping a uh, track of players we should go after in the offseason. I had to take it. Can Abrio get there? No, but he'll outrun that one. He gets on on the fielder's choice, unfortunately. Here's Damian Rush. He lost his starting job to Tish Ballin for a while. We are we definitely need to find a replacement center fielder. He has a lot of power, just not. There's a base hit. He just cannot hit home runs because he doesn't have the contact. That one was right down the pipe, so. Bring up Grizz. We got everybody playing shallow. Come on, Grizz. Oh, he chased after that one. I was at, when they had the outfield shallow, I was wanting to hit over top of him. Oh, and that's right, that Jackie Daytona. Oh, we go to the bottom of the eighth. It doesn't sound great. Sandman, Gonsendez, and Walters do up here. I got to make the decision whether we let Guerra keep pitching uh, or bring in the bullpen. That is popped up. That should be Duffy's. He calls for it. Right on the edge of the DeGrasse. One away. And Sendez crushes that one, but it goes foul to the left. Ground ball, Figueroa's there. Little love tap throw to lethal. Two away. Yeah, if we can get past this heart of the lineup. I may leave him in for the complete game. That ball's crushed. Rush! Oh, he missed it! Damian Rush makes a terrible fielding error. And that is going to allow a stand-up double. He was so fast, he ran past it. And Amy Zoner, who's 0 for 3, a chance to maybe make this a closer game than I thought. All of a sudden, the bullpen does start up again. And that's going to get through. They're going to challenge Buck's arm. They are. Buck throws. And it is 5-3 all of a sudden. And they're going to bring in Perry Quaker. He's clutch. Lots of power. We're going to the bullpen. We ain't dealing with this. Um, we'll bring uh, Stephenson in. Now pitching Orlando Stephenson. Come on, Stephenson. Oh! Get the ball! Oh, yes! Let's go! Oh, my Lord! We go to the ninth. Top of the order. Lethal D, Chan, and Dingers do up. And I know I repeated the same song, but we are surviving after that one. <clears throat> Lethal, two for four today. Ernie Bling's coming in to play catcher. And that's going to get lethal on. And maybe with a catcher with a weak arm, you all know what that means. How about it? The right fielder, number 70, Grishan Chan. We're going to throw. Yep. Ooh, uh oh, get back. <clears throat> All right, Rip Dingers. He's three for four today. He's got three shingles. Lottie, you could do more to get in shingles. Oh, 
I knew that she's gonna be worried about lethal over there. Oh, it was a perfect pitch, and I just got around on it early. Oh, lethal safe rip cannot outrun it. And that brings up Buck. Two outs, runner in scoring position. Jackie Daytona, big dive, makes the play, takes us to the bottom of the ninth. And Jackie Daytona's up. We're going to bring in Smack Avery to try to cl close the deal here. Bring our closer in. That is pop straight up. Signorio looking for it. They don't throw their helmets off either. But who are they bringing here? Nathan Knight. Hard hit ball, but right to Duffy. Two away. That would cost EA extra. That's true. Okay, Avery, you had like amazing like ball placement until like she come up and then now you can't throw the ball. Screw it, we're gonna throw a fastball. Oh, we paid for that one. Stallion Johnson, a chance to tie it up. But he's not. Figueroa's there, and that's the game. The Sirens are going to win. That's a close one. 16 hits, five runs for us, three runs on 10 hits for them. They did have an error. I don't remember what the error was. Everybody but Tish Balling got a hit in the starting lineup. Three hits by Lethal, two by Chan, three by Dingers, two by Duffy and Swiner. Damian Rush come in and got a hit. Uh, looking over there, Jackie Daytona, the viewer, had one strikeout, 0 for 4. Nah, Makatsuyuki, that would be, that would be uh, stealing off of another YouTuber who uses that for his victory song. Rupert Guerra gets the win. He proves a 5 and 1, 327 ERA, 9 hits, 3 earned runs, 1 walk, one, 7 strikeouts, and 7 and 2 thirds pitch. Stephenson come in as a setup man, getting us to the closer. Smack Avery picking up his seventh save of the season. Give up one hit, one inning. Fuller, I think he had a really good day. He did give up five earned runs, one strikeout. They did leave him in there way too long. But early on, he was really good. He just had no run support. They brought in Qualita to help out toward the end. Rupert Guerra is your player of the game. Leighton Walters and Lethal D getting up there. Look at that. Uh, season two, Pete. Season two, I'll cycle some other ones on there. All right, let's, uh, speaking of cycling, here's Pete's Night Warriors taking on the Nemesis. They're going to win 4-2. I didn't have time today after church to do that. Overdogs win, keeping it close with us. Guadalajara lose it in the ninth, 7-5. And Pico gets a win. They keep up on their division. Iowa needs this one, but they're not going to get it. They get thumped 13 to 1. Kyoto, 6 0 win. Puts them closer to the Blowfish. Prague. Oh, Hollywood's going to get a win against the division leading Prague Moonstars. Shocking. Uh oh, the Night Warriors drop one to the Wild Pigs. Brockadons lose a close one of the Cyberbots. That allows the Defenders and Nemesis to be a half game back. Freebooters beat the Geckos. Geckos. This league is uh, just crazy right now. Four Moose are still looking to get 10 wins on the season.
Game Pass Ultimate. Let's see. Yeah, everything's... I could probably turn base running up a little bit more. No, they were gunning us down there, so... We'll go up one more on pitching. I know you all want me to get on 80 on all that stuff. Uh, reality TV star for Air Lovestone. Oh, it's a chance to lose her fork ball. Not going to do that. <gasps> Hovita Puto... P Hovila... Hovita... <laughs> words. Words, Steve. Words. Hovita Pulo has been let go of the Vancouver Moose. They've signed Trey Mundo, a 19-year-old, but left the star pitcher out there for $19.3 million. That is our first big-name, big-name player that's been let go. Clifford Kane been let go. They didn't really change much here. Looks like uh, the Blowfish are losing up on some um, salary. Roberto Alba signed. Oh, Stump Juarez just picked up nine junk. That's big. He's at 86 junk now. Holy cow. Take a look at the league leader. Stump Juarez is at the top right now. Rip Dingers and Damian Della or Cruz and Slip Slaughter right there. Still can't believe Meow Bupkins is there. Rip Dingers holding on to the Triple Crown right now. I'm afraid that may slip toward the end of the season, though. Robin Yu still ahead of Lethal. Asher Ryan right there on steals. Dez, eighth on stolen bases. Roar Sports Network is the best place to catch up with the latest in-game analysis, trade rumors, and commentary. Check yeah, I mean, that's the thing is. Oh, no, excuse me. She's 28.5 million if you want to sign her. Her price went up now that she's on the free agency market. Um, yeah, actually it's based, like you can see the asking valuation is 10.7 million more than what she's worth. If you go to my team, based on what they're doing, like Stump Juarez, where he just improved to 86 junk, we're paying him, it says negative 3 million over there. We're paying him three million less than he deserves. So at the end of the season, based on his loyalty, he may demand that three million more. Or, you know, and there's the thing. Like, let's say we go to Damian Rush here. We're paying him seven hundred thousand dollars less. If he demands seven hundred thousand dollars more, and we say no, with seventy three loyalty, he may just leave the team, and then we have to go find somebody else. Like Jesse Donovan, we'd probably have to pay her. $100,000 more, which is not a big deal because her loyalty is so low. Air Lovestone. And it could change. They could decide they want way more money at the end. Uh, I don't know. We've got a few games before the playoffs. I don't think she's worth that much. I'm sure some team will pay it for, but I'm not.